Hi, my name is Dr. Craig Zalvin, and I'm a laryngologist or a specialist in voice, swallow, throat, and cough disorders. And I'm part of ENT and Allergy's office here in Sleepy Hollow, New York. And I want to talk about shortness of breath. This is a common symptom. It's certainly been very common in the news with people having post-COVID symptoms. And the shortness of breath I want to address today is not the type that we get when we have asthma, which is a disorder of the lung, or other pulmonary conditions. What I'm talking about is neurogenic dyspnea, or the nerve sensation of feeling shortness of breath. This often happens after an upper respiratory or post-viral syndrome, the same that we see in COVID. This neurogenic dyspnea causes a person to feel as though they can't get a full breath. You often see somebody sighing, trying to get in that deep breath, but they never feel as though the breath itself is satisfied. This can occur because nerve changes throughout the upper respiratory system fail to tell the brain that a full breath has been obtained and therefore they feel as though they're shortness of breath. However, most of these people have been worked up extensively by the lung doctors and their breathing testing is normal, their x-rays and CAT scans are normal, and they don't respond to typical medications for asthma or other lung related disorders. Neurogenic dyspnea is a neurosensory change. And by reducing some of the triggers that can exacerbate these symptoms, such as nasal drainage and reflux, we can often improve a patient's feeling of that shortness of breath. In addition, there is a variety of different types of breathing exercises that can be done with our specialized voice therapists, also at home as well, that can help mitigate this sensation. Finally, there are some medications that also help with the hypersensitivity. In general, if you continue to feel short of breath despite a significant workup and treatment for other lung-related disorders, then you might have neurogenic dyspnea.